Have you seen the movie Saw? Probably yes. Remember how elaborate John Kramer's traps were? Something similar, only for catching animals and not harming them. People construct with their own hands, using only the tools at hand. It looks interesting. In this episode, I'll show you such creative animal traps and tell you how they're made. Just remember, traps should be used only in extreme cases. Love animals, do not harm them, and enjoy watching the episode. Snake Trap To be honest, I never would have thought that people actually hunt snakes. They hunt using traps. And no, they didn't invent something special for that. People simply use improvised materials and make a smart trap out of them. Here, by the way, is one of these usual options. A man noticed that a snake had crawled into the hole right in front of him. It would be great to catch it, he thought, and began to prepare a warm welcome for the creeping creature. To do this, he took an angle grinder and set it up right at the entrance to the snake's lair. To tell you the truth, all kinds of bad thoughts began to enter my head, like he wants the angle grinder, snake, you get the idea. Fortunately for our nervous system and psyche, this didn't happen. Everything turned out to be much more humane. The man just wrapped a lot of rubber bands around the angle grinder and used the disc as a moving mechanism. Then he set the classic trigger and went about his business. As a result, an unsuspecting snake crawled out of the hole and involuntarily snagged the trap. The mechanism worked and immediately caught the animal, wrapping a small but strong rope around it. There was no way the snake could crawl away from there. Its weight certainly didn't exceed that of the angle grinder. It was quite a humane version of the trap, don't you think? And this is another version of the snake trap. Let me warn you right away, it seemed to me times more gentle and harmless, but when I saw the last ingredient of success, I didn't even know how to react to it. All in all, at first it looks very simple and straightforward. A man dug a small area underground, then took three homemade tubes, made them a passageway to this very hole, and then covered it all with wire and covered it with soil. The result was a passageway to a bunker from which the creeping creature couldn't get back. Everything seems fine, but then the question arises, how can he lure a snake here at all? Unfortunately, as practice shows, this is only realistic due to the bait, which is often small creatures. The good news is that the trap worked, and the snake really couldn't get out of it. Which of the two snake traps did you like better? Write in the comments. If you think that people hunt with such methods only for something less weak, like the relatively small snakes, then you're wrong. As practice shows, people can trap even a crocodile. For this, however, a slightly different trap is used. Since a crocodile can easily get out of the tangled net, one has to make a deeper hole and put some kind of closing doors over it. When the crocodile grabs the bait, it unwittingly falls into the trap. The doors close and block its view. As a result, the predator doesn't understand what's happening and turns out to be helpless in this trap, from which it's quite easy to get a predator out person throws some kind of package on it, takes it out of the hole, and then drives it into the same package. From the outside, it looks like a trivial matter, but of course, it requires a lot of skill and knowledge. Herd Instinct That's probably how I would describe what's going to happen in the next video, but no spoilers. Now you'll figure everything out. The author of the video decided to visually show his subscribers how you can catch mice in your home or anywhere else. This doesn't require extensive preparation. All you need is a large tank, a large bucket in this case, a film that can be stretched across the top of it, as well as food, lots of food. The plan is as follows. A person makes a small hole in the film so that a mouse can easily fall into it, then puts food inside and leaves some goodies on top as additional bait. Oh, I almost forgot. In order for the mice to get to this very food, it's still necessary to make a mini bridge. And then, then Mother Nature will do everything for you. The mice will crawl up out of curiosity and find the food. They'll immediately pass the information onto their congeners and a crowd will come. Everyone will want to eat the goodies and they'll even be willing to come down. Of course, the mice will find food there, but it's unlikely they'll have enough for a lifetime. And then what I call the herd instinct will happen. Seeing their congeners jump down one by one, each new mouse from above will think that it's necessary and there's something delicious, interesting down there, or something that they never saw in their life. In fact, it'll be empty down there, and it'll turn into some kind of crush and fuss until a person comes. Well, at least there was no live bait here. Thanks for that. Was it possible? That's how I reacted when I saw the next trap in action. 
I used to think there was nothing better than hunting fish with a rod or net. The only nuance of all the methods familiar to us is that all these methods require special skills, including attention and patience. And now the most important thing. The trap that I'm going to show you now doesn't require either at all. You simply do what the guy in the video did. You dig a trap next to a shoal, then you make a narrow entrance for it, so that it's convenient for the fish to get through there, but it's almost impossible to get out. Then you can go about your business for an hour or two. The result will surprise you. Just look at how many fish have fallen through here in that time. A trap for wild cats. We're all accustomed to the fact that cats are our favorite pets. They're always around, ready to cuddle, rub up against the owner, and so on. Except that, unfortunately, or fortunately, the world of cats doesn't end there. There are many representatives of the feline family that live in the wild, and I don't mean stray cats. I mean those that have settled in the woods or elsewhere. It's these representatives of the feline family that people decide to hunt. Let me tell you right away, there's nothing to worry about. They weren't doing it for the purpose of selling the cat or eating it. They were just curious to test the trap in action. And the point of it was insanely simple. There's food. This is bait for the cats. It's covered with a small piece of wood. As soon as the wood's moved, the cat's wrapped with a rope, which won't let it leave the territory. At first, I watched this video and thought the cats had fooled everyone. They managed to get a tree to not get trapped, but it didn't last long. Pretty soon, the cat's paw was enveloped by the trap. Now let's talk about rabbits and see how one can catch these fluffy creatures in the wild. The main nuance to consider is that all but one rabbit species live in underground burrows. This is what distinguishes them from hares, which build nests on the surface. Also, if you scare a rabbit, it can die on the spot. So it's important not to overdo it and make the trap safe for its nervous system. Another important point is that the rabbit eyes are arranged very unusually. These creatures can see what's happening behind them without even turning their heads. With all these factors in mind, the author of the video decided to catch a rabbit right at the exit of its burrow. To do so, he used an axe. Come on, don't panic right away. He didn't use an axe for the purpose you think. It served as a load, as a heavy object. The man made a trap similar to the one you and I saw at the beginning of the episode. As soon as the rabbit crawled out of the burrow, without noticing it, it touched the trigger, triggering the activation of the axe. Here they go again. Again, this is a rabbit trap, only much more advanced and, as practice has shown, effective one. The point is to dig a multi-level bunker underground. Then one needs to install a box over it and make something like an easy descent in it, which will fail immediately as soon as a rabbit steps on it. A carrot glued to paper is used to bait the animal. This way, it will allow a person to hunt several members of the rabbit family at once. I didn't think this plan would work to its full potential, but just look at the result. With this method, the man caught one, two, three, in short, many rabbits at once. That's a great trap. That's all, guys. Which trap did you think was the most original? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching, and see you later.